I am uh, Dr. Patil from India. So in 2010, the OCP formed an advisory committee to have good collaboration in improvement of pulses between OCP and India. That was an advisory board. In 2010, as member of the advisory board of OCP India Advisory Board, I advised to take pulses initiative in India. In 2010, it started in Karnataka as Agriculture Extension Service Project with two crops in three three blocks, chickpea and red gram pigeon pea. So, with uh, integrating the technology developed by the local agriculture universities and ICR institutes, we were able to demonstrate to the farmers yield almost two times, three times. Uh, so it became a very successful project. After looking to the success of this project, the OCPF came out with a conference in uh, Morocco Rabat in 2012 called South South Collaboration and Global Under Global Food Security Initiative, where the another mega project was conceived. That is india morocco food legume initiative under which we are visiting morocco now this is operated by very big institutes in india international crop research institute for semi arid tropics that is icrisat located at hyderabad they are operating in two states andhra pradesh and karnataka similarly icarda which is also here is operating in madhya pradesh tripura and west bengal and uh, there is one more uh, big institute, uh, the father of Green Revolution, Swaminathan. His institute is operating in Orissa and Tamil Nadu. The crops which are uh, subjected to, I mean, experimentation are chickpea, pigeon pea, lentil, faba bean, um, um, uh, uh, not faba bean. So this uh, grass pea, then green gram, black gram groundnut uh, like this about 8-10 crops are uh, worked out in India and there is a good impact on the farming community and from this we are leading to value addition chain then market linkages and branding and uh, putting apart from uh, the India got an advantage strong with the strong support of uh, OCPF that we are able to I mean uh, take about 15,000 farmers into our fold and Morocco has been given a responsibility of having 10,000 farmers and they are also doing as since as two days we are seeing in different uh, regions they have established five platforms and they are working mainly on faba bean, chickpea, then uh, your uh, lentil and field peas. So it is a excellent win-win uh, uh, situation under South-South collaboration and it's need, it can be extended to some other countries or the new way is to like uh, agriculture extension edu service project of uh, ISAP. This can also be taken to the other end of business development and marketing. In With this collaboration, I think it, it will create an, a very good example for the whole world that such collaboration can bring better results between countries and this concept can be extended to other other African countries or Indian states or even uh, other countries which are suffering from malnutrition or protein hunger. So this project will have a lot of uh, I mean, uh, say in the international thing. In 2016, International Pulse Year is going to come where we will organize conferences, seminars on the results of these collaborative projects and it will open a new avenue for the whole world to see how India Morocco Food Legume Initiative project is successful. And I am behind this as an advisor from Indian side for the whole project is advised by me and lot of innovative ideas we have put and similarly Indra has put lot of innovative ideas, Icarda has put. So it is a very excellent technological integration between countries having I mean, a major aim of promoting pulses, bringing them back as a soil fertility improvement and also human health improvement. Thank you. Yes.